Hey everyone, it is Aisha, AK Lesh of Living Lesh, and welcome to my channel. As always, if you enjoy this video and you want to see others, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you can stay connected with everything that's going on Living Lesh and how to live that luxe life from fashion to travel to style to motherhood and everything in between. You'll find that right here on this channel, and it's so exciting. I mean, I like to toot my own horn, but that's what I'm going to do. So, Today, we're actually here to have kind of like a fashion travel mix of a video. And I'm sharing with you the outfits I'm wearing for a winter trip around the Mediterranean, a winter trip in Europe. I'll be visiting Rome, uh, Livorno, going to Pisa, um, Nice, um, a couple other places in France, as well as landing in Barcelona. I'll be on a cruise ship, but I will be porting multiple days in multiple cities. So I'm super excited to be going on this trip. And since it's in December, not only is it a winter trip, but it's also around the Christmas time. So we're going to be visiting some Christmas, Christmas markets. So with that being said, a lot of people typically go to Europe in the spring, summer. That's when they can go around. A lot of things are open, but it's a lot more touristy. So I'm really excited to actually go in during the winter, not only for the Christmas markets, because they're saying it's a lot easier to get into some places you can't get in during the busy season. But if you are anything like me and you're going to Europe during the winter, whether you're hitting uh, Italy, France, or Spain, you may be thinking, what should I wear? And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to be sharing some of the outfits I picked out to stay comfortable, to stay fashionable, to look cute and match that European vibe. So let's get into some of these outfits. So as always, with anything we do, you can go either go to the description below to find all the links for any outfit and pieces I'm talking about within this video, or you can go right here to this QR code where you can get access to my shop LTK where I'm linking everything and you can see all of the outfits there and shop them right from there. So either go links below or go right to that QR code and you'll be good to go. So let's get into some of these outfits. So of course the first thing I wanted to do was check the weather. So in December, around the time we're going, it's fluctuating between the 50s and 60s. So I'm definitely still bringing my coat. As you know, Europe is a city where you walk around. There is public transportation. Um, you can get on a bus, you can get on some the metro station, depending on where you are. Um, and then of course there are Ubers um, and ride shares around, but the best way to get away around some of these cities is to actually just walk. So I'm preparing to be outside, walking along the streets, which if you haven't been anywhere in Europe, streets in Europe a lot of the time, depending on what city you're in, can be um, those cobblestone or they can be very on incline. So making sure that to wear comfortable shoes, all of that. So as I, again, am preparing for my outfits, the first place I started with was my coats. I'm bringing two coats to Europe. Um, one is a black and white checkered coat. It's a longer coat. I actually got this coat from Revolve a while ago, and it is quite heavy. Uh, the one thing I got worried about when I decided to bring it was putting it in my suitcase, because I figured it's going to take up a lot of the weight. And having heavy coats along with shoes in a, a bag can make your bag overweight. So I decided to still bring this coat I'm putting it in my bag for now. I may end up carrying it. I know that if I'm a little bit overweight, if I take that coat out, it's probably going to even out. But I really like this coat, how lengthwise it is. Um, you could actually see how I styled it before in a previous Christmas market I went to in the Philly area. Um, you can check that out right here. And... Um, I like how it belts in the front. It still buttons up. It does all of those things that you really need to do while still keeping you warm without it feeling too snug. Um, and that, that coat is in a small. Um, I probably could have went down and got an extra small, but I like the loose feeling of it. So I kind of got a size up. I read about it with other places that where people actually got it a so their actual size and it still fit them well. So it's kind of up to you. The second coat I got was from Abercrombie. It is the Wool Blend Dad Coat, and it's in a tan. So you can see I'm doing the black coat, and then I'm doing a tan neutral coat to kind of help balance out the outfits, which we'll see. So with that coat, it does come up a little bit shorter than my longer black coat. My longer black coat comes down about mid-calf, whereas this coat comes down to below, uh, right above the knee. Um, so I like how this also buttons. It's a good coat to kind of just drape over you as well. You don't have to actually wear these coats. People just drape them for the alpha aesthetic. Um, but it's good to button up this coat that I got from Abercrombie, the wool, uh, wool 
wool blend dad coat, but that's a whole mouthful. Um, I actually got in my size. It runs a little bit bigger because it's kind of a dad coat style. So it's not as form fitting if you're looking for something form fitting, but it wears nicely to the point where it allows you to layer underneath without feeling confined. And that's something I really want to do because I want to feel comfortable while walking around. Not only that is I know that as I'm layering things and I'm eating, things are just going to get wider. And I want to make sure that as I'm walking around, as I'm going from place to place, I don't start feeling claustrophobic or confined or some kind of just issue with my coats. So along with my coats, I also want to make sure I brought some of the basics. So I started with my belts, I take my Gucci belt everywhere. It's the only belt I actually splurged on. So that is my Gucci black belt that I splurged on years ago. It was a good investment for me. So I take that one as my black belt. And of course, along with the black belt, you need a brown belt. So I got this kind of Gucci lookalike belt. I got it from Amazon, which is tremendously lower than the price. And that's my brown thinner belt. The brown thinner belt, though, again, it looks like a thin Gucci belt doesn't have the actual Gucci emblems. Um, and it actually has more, um, the, the push throughs, the little circles. Anyway, you can cinch it tighter than I actually get my Gucci belt. So I love wearing that brown belt with a lot of my dresses because I can make it actually sit right below my chest and my upper part of my abdomen to make that look good. So I'm bringing both of those belts so that I can wear them with the pants, some dress outfits, a variety of different outfits so that I can just kind of make sure, um, I'm able to kind of split up the look, still give that, you know, tall look that I like to give when I'm creating the, uh, creating the looks I do. Um, so that was my other basics. And then, of course, I need to bring some shoes. So I didn't want to bring a plethora of shoes. In the winter, we tend to always wear boots, um, and the boots tend to be heavy. And if you pack multiple boots, then your suitcase is overweight, and then either you have to pay extra, or you have to get rid of some of your shoes, or you have to start wearing clothes or put the clothes elsewhere. It just becomes a whole thing. So I tried to limit myself to three shoes this time, and I went with a collection of Dolce Vita shoes. And I actually just got the these. these are newer. Um, one is the H2O boots, um, but all of them have different heights. And I walked around and wore these in a lot of places. And even the ones with the taller height, so the gray ones with the taller height, actually are a lot more comfortable than they look. So it allows me to wear some of the longer dresses that I have um, with with those boots without feeling like I'm about to sacrifice my comfort. So I'm getting the heeled look without actually wearing heels. I don't have to have my clothes dragging on the ground, which can just end up ruining it. And you'll see some of the outfits that if they drag on the ground, it's just kind of the outfits gone. But those are the boots I got. Um, and I'm really excited about those. I've always loved Dolce Vita shoes. I have a lot of heels and, um, you know, sandals from Dolce Vita. So these are actually my first Dolce Vita boots. They fit really well. Um, around the like the ankle because they are booties they're not full boots so I just go on booties um but they are super warm the both of two of them two out of the three I got are waterproof the black ones and the brown ones um the medium brown ones the ones that are lighter are not fully waterproof because of the like sweater look texture does kind of go through but they're easy to slip on easy to slip off they're not like those boots where you like tug them really off um, and again, walking around in them is like walking around on pure comfort. So I'm really excited to be wearing these with all of those outfits. Now, the first thing that I also decided to do when it comes to building my outfits, other than getting the coats, the shoes and accessories, I need to get a base layer. I'm someone that does not like to be cold. I know people are saying like, oh, it's 50s and 60s. It's not that cold. Um, it's like LA weather and I'm from the Philadelphia area. So I'm like right now in the 30s and 40s. So I should be used to it. Yes, I understand the cold, but also realize that here where it's the 30s and 40s, I am inside most of the day, not walking around. So I decided to invest in um, the kind of fleece legging look. Now, I did go on Amazon and look for fleece leggings, which I have linked some of the ones I saw um, below. I didn't end up buying the fleece leggings that look like the tights, the tights fleece leggings as they were where it creates that kind of skin tone look just bought together because I found that I couldn't find any in my skin tone that match. They tend to sell more lighter complexions um, and anything outside of Amazon either was a higher price than I wanted to pay or it wouldn't get here quick enough of when I actually started looking for them. So I actually found this trick on TikTok of how to basically 
get the fleece leggings and then layer it to get it to your skin tone. So what I actually did was I got the just base fleece leggings. Um, and you can, again, everything's linked below. I got those. And then I went and found brown um, ballet tights so that they kind of end up looking like my skin tone. And then I ended up getting my black tights. So I put over them. So it's basically creating the illusion that it is my skin tone that I literally just have black sheer tights on, but I'm warm. So it kind of helps me. So I can sh still wear my skirt, my short mini skirts. I can still wear my mini dresses without actually feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm about to freeze. Because some of the looks that you'll see are mini dresses and mini skirts. And I still want to wear those because they're so cute. But I didn't want to sacrifice my legs. And I also didn't want to bring tall boots. Because again, those boots that I have are all booty, so they're not as tall. So it would leave a lot of my skin out on my legs. And that was just not something I want to do. Again, I don't appreciate the cold. So that's the little trick I learned with that. So the first outfit I'm packing is uh, fully from Abercrombie. So the top is a black bodysuit that looks like it has a bandeau top and then kind of sheer sleeves um, and a sheer neckline, which I really like. Um, it is a top that I first, when I first shared it on a previous um, video, when I did a try on haul, I wore it with a bra and it was like, it's really tight to get on. It was really difficult to get a size up. If you buy this and want to get your true size, you just can't wear a bra. I put this on this time, got my little uh, nipple covers and didn't put a bra on and it was a lot easier to get on. I am not really sure how that makes such a huge difference, but it did. Um, so with that bodysuit, I paired it with a actual skirt. So what I have on is an olive green, dark green skirt that looks like a skirt, um, thus a skirt. Um, I was going to get it in black, but by the time when I went to uh, get it from Abercrombie, they didn't have the black anymore. And I actually do feel like the green kind of blends in with it so I don't create a fully all black look, especially with the leggings and the tights kind of look and the boots. So it adds a little bit of color and then I can kind of throw on my black and white coat over top to create this kind of other look. And then if I accessorize it, it'll break up the colors there too. So this is kind of my first look. I'll probably wear this in France. Um, that's kind of what I'm planning it for, but I really like how it fits. It's warm and comfortable without being overwhelming and not super tight. So to kind of continue on with the black that is happening in some of my outfits, um, I also got a shirt dress from Abercrombie. It's a button-up shirt dress with, it's a mini dress. So you can see that I'm still wearing the um, leggings, the sheer tights, leggings, fleece leggings kind of look, and pairing it with those black Dolce Vita um uh, boots. And then I'll try to, I have to go, I actually purchased the Amazon thing where you can actually punch another thing in your belt buckle. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing it a little notch, um, on my Gucci belt but because I paid so much money. I'm a little bit nervous, but anyway, um, I tried to break it up with the Gucci belt. So creating, creating this just black and gold look. Um, I probably could try to style it with the brown belt, but I wasn't really feeling it. And then without the belt, it just kind of looked plain. So I'm still playing with this look. It's definitely a very neutral nighttime kind of calm walking around look where I might just wear it underneath a the coat for the most part where I'm trying to show off the coat. Um, and then I have some hats that I'm like kind of styling with things. So that will also be something I can add on. I have like a little uh, black um a baker hat that I'm taking so that I can just kind of create this all black look that's just kind of mellow and good and still sophisticated. Maybe for France or Italy, uh, maybe Barcelona. I think black goes with kind of every look. This next set, this next look I actually got from Lulu's and it is a wrap skirt. Now this skirt didn't fit me up completely how I wanted it to without wearing the sweater. So it was a good thing I got a sweater and decided to tuck it in. So both those pieces are exactly from the same place. Uh, what I did for the legging situation, I took off the black tights. So I still have my fleece leggings on and the brown ballet tights. The color looks a little bit off from my actual skin tone. So I may have to play around with wearing the sheer brown tights that I get. So it kind of adds brown on brown, but we'll see, or I'll just sacrifice and, you know, have my leg out for a little bit. Um, well, I'll have to play with that once I get there to see how the actual um, temperature feels. But the wrap skirt itself actually does button on the inside and it has two buttons on the outside. It has a high slit where your leg can stick out. And for this case, I'm wearing uh, my outside of my black boots. And then I decide to add a like oatmeal brown color uh, sweater to it. 
and tucked it in. Like I said, without tucking it in, the skirt won't sit up as high as I'm styling it. It'll actually drop. So being able to tuck it in to kind of get that high waisted is key. So if you end up getting this skirt, I highly recommend getting this sweater that I'm pairing with it as well, or another sweater that's similar, so that if you want to pull it up higher, it works because it does run a little bit big. For this outfit, it's probably one that I would wear in Barcelona. I feel like it just has Barcelona vibes around it. Um, but I haven't really, again, picked out specific times for this one. Like some of the outfits I've picked out specific places I'm going to wear them to. Just not this one yet, but I'm leaning towards Barcelona. Next outfit is from Abercrombie as well. So I want to first by start showing off the dress. So Abercrombie has a line called the Best Dress Guest Line. And I got this satin white kind of pearl dress from it. Um, and even with the kind of flutter sleeves and the deep V, I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I can wear this all year round and you'll see how I'm going to wear it um, in a second. But I love the way this moves. It's not one of those dresses that move when you take your, your arms and move it. It moves by itself as you're walking. And I did get this in my true to size extra small. It is one of the more expensive pieces at Abercrombie, but I think by the time that I got it, it was on sale. So just keep an eye out for it. And it does come in other colors. But I decide to get it in this pearl color because we're going to try to visit the Trevi Fountain. A little tip about the Trevi Fountain is if you are planning on going, you have to go super early um, because then it just gets quite crowds. Like check it out on Instagram and TikTok. You will find out the difference between getting there at like 5, 6 a.m. to then getting there like at 9. It just get, becomes chaos. So. I got this dress and then because it's cold outside, I am layering it with an another Abercrombie piece, but it's this gray uh, cardigan that has these pearl buttons that look like that match the dress. So it creates this kind of contrasted look because of the gray and white that is still complimentary and looks. And I feel like I can style this with the sweater from where I'm walking around. Um, if I choose to walk around with this, I'm still playing around with wearing this all day in Italy because it's a white dress. Um, but maybe I'll take the, the risk and just go, hey, uh, say la vie, live my life, who knows. But I love how being able to style both of these and the fact that this dress, though it looks very formal and upscale, what I added on the Dolce Vita booties, it didn't take away from it. So those Dolce Vita booties went really well with it. I can walk around, I can create this kind of casual but luxe look. I will say this is probably my favorite look of going on this trip, one of my top ones, probably the number one. Um, and I can wear it with either coat. It just looks super luxe, super great with anything. And it's probably the one outfit that I am definitely putting in my carry-on. So in the case they lose my suitcase, knock on air, knock on wood, here there's some wood right here, that I will still at least have that dress and everything else is kind of just floating around. I can figure it out later, but I want that outfit because it is one of my day one outfits. This next outfit is back from is back to Lulu. So it is a pants set with a sweater. And I paired this with the uh, lookalike Gucci belt. So the pants do have their own little slits. You're not just kind of wandering around. But the pants, they do fit true to size. So I got them in extra small. They come up shorter. And on Lulu's, I didn't pick like extra small short. So if you're looking at where it comes up on my legs, if you are taller, I'm 5'3", you kind of get that essence of they will kind of come up a little bit higher on your ankle or mid calf. Um, and then I got an oatmeal colored sweater to kind of balance off this light white cream look to the overall look. And then I added a hat, the hat, the wide brim hat is actually from Lulu's too. Um, I love the lack of color hats that come out. I just never actually invested in one. The hat that I have that's in this outfit is not from lack of color. Like I said, it's just from Lulu's. So it was a great lookalike hat that I can put together to create this kind of luxe modern look. And it's another look I'd probably go with Italy. As you can see, I'm leaving a lot of my darker color outfits for France, a lot of my brown outfits for uh, Barcelona and Spain, and then I'm doing a lot of white and light colors for Italy. I guess it's just how I decided to organize everything with the backdrops where we're going to be visiting. Now these last three outfits are outfits that are just kind of I'm um, filling in depending on the day. So one day we will be in Pisa. So I felt like Pisa is definitely a more relaxed, chill vibe sitting next to the Tower of Pisa. So I'm going with this jean look with the uh, H2O brown Dolce Vita boots with a nice little bodysuit underneath 
covered by what's just a central piece, a Steve Madden brown, uh, you can see it's kind of like a checkered plaid blazer. And I really wanted to get this blazer. Um, I originally found it on Revolve and it was a higher price, but then Zappos had it for cheaper and apparently it was also on Amazon. So it's in a lot of different places. Um, my recommendation, if you really are interested in this blazer when you click on the link below it's going to take you to one location have Rakuten on if you have the Rakuten attachment to your browser what it'll pop up if there's some some place where it's cheaper it'll actually pop up and tell you where it's cheaper and it'll take you there and add the cash back so the great thing about me purchasing from Zappos is not only did I find it cheaper I also got cash back on it but again back to this look it is more of a chill look so we will be porting for one day during the cruise in Livorno which is about a 20 minute train ride from to Pisa so we'll be going to Pisa to the Leaning Tower going to the church the baptistry and going around the areas um, so I felt like this was a really good chill outfit to wear in that area um, and this is probably like, again like I said my low-key outfit that I'm excited to have but it's not like one where I was like if I, I lost it I would live without it but I love how it looks it's a very good cute fall winter look then I got a I have a sweater dress I'm bringing I always bring a sweater dress on any of my winter trips and I felt like this was a good neutral dress to bring um, it's from Abercrombie I'm using to split it up um, the, the top and bottom with the belt as you can see the very casual look I've worn this all winter so far so it's kind of one of my I would say I hate to say backup looks but it's kind of like a, a, a look where after I'm done taking pictures I'm just kind of hanging out I can wear this but this dress is warm without feeling too snug it stretches it's comfortable it's a good value a good price and I can layer a coat over it and just be comfortable and chill out and go have breakfast at the cafe or have late night drinks out in Italy somewhere so again another good European outfit if you're just looking for something comfortable yet stylish this last dress is more Christmas be Christmassy themed. So I brought this dress, uh, one, for the fact that we were thinking about going ice skating. And I felt like this would be a cute dress to move around. It has great movement to go ice skating in. Or when we have a late night out in one of the ports, going in front of a Christmas tree with the sparkly dress, even though it's black, we'll just have to get some lighting and working that out. Additionally, there are some theme nights along the boat we'll be on. We're going on a cruise around the Mediterranean with Windstar on their maiden voyage. Um, and they do have some more kind of upscale um you know party vibe so i wanted to bring a dress that is a little bit more dressier for any time we're on the boat now you can see me in this styling it with the boots that's probably just if i'm walking around um if you haven't seen me on other trips what i tend to do is I may change my shoes for outfits that match the things if I'm walking around. Um, similar to when I was in Porto, um, I changed my, my shoes for some outfits just to kind of make it look good for the backdrop, but I was not walking around in those all day. So I am bringing a pair of black pumps or if I'm on the boat or if I just want to take a picture with them. But for the most part, I'm planning on wearing ice skates with this outfit or being on board or just walking around with it in those boots. Now, as I said, all of those outfits are linked below, so you can shop them right here, and also make sure to follow along with me on Instagram and TikTok so you can see how I'm actually photographing these outfits and what backdrop they're going with. I will be on this cruise for a full week and then coming back, and you'll see a vlog fully about my trip experience. Um, I'll be doing a vlog on the cruise itself and then vlogs on all of the areas that we're visiting so you can get the full experience of how to spend, you know, 48 hours in Rome, uh, 24 hours in Livorno going to Pisa, um, 48 hours in Nice, 48 hours in Barcelona, how to experience the Christmas markets around Europe. So stay tuned for all those. Again, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that when they are live, they'll go right back up. And then if you just want to see the backdrops of photos of these outfits, follow me on Instagram at Living Lesh. But I hope that you're inspired by some of these outfits. You can get some ideas of what you can do if you're going on a trip that is similar. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.